Welcome to this inaugural monthly Chromebook News Recap. Sometimes it can be hard to keep up with the vast range of Chrome OS related news out there, so I hope this might help us package it all up and have a good laugh about it, eh? Ha ha ha! Let's keep it breezy. The biggest news of the month came from CES, and Samsung has a lot of money and would like some more, please, with the announcement of the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook, which everybody loves, and it's probably the best Chromebook ever made, but it costs around $1,000. But also, if you compare it to the Pixelbook, that's maybe a reasonable price. This is basically the Samsung Galaxy Pixelbook. It's also a part of Intel's Project Athena, which is a new mobile computer computing standard which the folks at Chrome Unboxed explain really well if you're interested. Basically, it means the specs are really good. Also approved for Project Athena is the new Asus C436 which looks like an excellent follow-up to this here C434. Again, pricey though, and it's nice to see that Chrome Unboxed have uncovered clues that Asus are working on a cheaper model for later this year. Also newly announced is the Lenovo Chromebook Flex 5 which looks like a really good all-rounder. It's probably going to be really popular. What a flex. And there's also the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet, which is a tablet, but it comes with an attachable keyboard. And unlike the Pixel Slate, it doesn't cost as much as a root canal. New touchscreen gestures are coming soon too, and they should greatly benefit this device and all convertible Chromebooks. The icing on the cake is that all of these new Chromebooks will be getting an average of eight years of automatic updates, up from the six that's been the norm. I was talking about this as a valid criticism of Chromebooks in a video I made just a few weeks ago, so this is cool, and definite proof that whatever criticisms I mention in these videos will be promptly addressed by the Chromebook developers. So, can we all just take a minute to talk about the white screen of death. Let's dark mode that, please. So those are the main exciting new Chromebook announcements, but there was also a new version of the HB Chromebook 15, as well as a handful of new education-focused Chromebooks from CTL, Lenovo and Acer. Let's talk about some other stories. Kevin Toffel at aboutchromebooks.com posted a great little how-to showing that it's possible to replace or even upgrade your Chromebook screen all by yourself. If that appeals to you and you're not afraid of fiddling with some hardware, check it. On Android Police, Corbin Davenport calls for Google to build their own video editor for Chromebooks. I was skeptical of this opinion at first since I'm fairly impressed with Wii Video and Linux-based editors and I don't think Google could easily match them. But as Corbin mentions, with the power of Google Photos and machine learning capabilities and hell, YouTube, it's easy to imagine Google making a groundbreaking, truly cloud-based editor. Also reported by Android Police, it sounds like the Chrome team is working on bringing Steam to Chromebooks. Well, you can already get Steam to run by yourself in Cross Steamy, but it's not that accessible nor optimized, and this tidbit is about Steam running in a more official capacity. Anyway, it's early days and I doubt we'll see anything concrete soon, but exciting. What's new in Chrome OS this month? Well, Crostini is where most of the action is at. Audio recording has finally arrived in Crostini, but it's behind a shell command. I swear I'm gonna make a video about Audacity in Crostini as soon as you don't have to use Crosh to make your microphone work. Crostini resizing is coming, but it's just in the dev channel behind a flag for now. Also on the dev channel are improvements to the Bluetooth pairing experience. Bunch of little things are coming. Let's talk about some of your comments. The comments from you guys I'd like to highlight this month come from John B and Mike B. I call them the B -B -B brothers. The first is from John B who says, I decided to get a Google Chromebook and at least try it out because let's face it, Windows isn't getting any younger and Macs are way too expensive for the casual computer user. Chromebooks are a nice third option. I agree with you there, mate. No, I love the third option. Third, third is third is third best. And Mike B says, that guy in the video moves just like Magnus Pike from Don't Ask Me. When an iceberg freezes, it doesn't take the salt with it. And in fact, an iceberg is fresh water. And fresh water is lighter than salt water, so that's another reason why it floats. Well, I don't know what makes him think that. And that'll do it for now, guys. Hope you're having a great 2020 so far. Links to everything I've discussed are in the description of this video. Goodbye for now.